Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Uh, as much as I want to check both Novelettes and Ristley's uh, chapters, I, I believe I will think there's still a few fulfilling quests I need to check around the world. Uh, and by the way, today I noticed there was that over here that I didn't interact yet. From Blanche. So I'll let her place betwixt two bull fruits. Mr. Is, Miss Pymo, it's me, Blanche. Surprise! You didn't expect me to wrestle soon, right? <laughs> Actually, it's nothing. I just found some super huge, super sweet bull fruits. I had a lot of them in my life, but ones like this are first. As such, I wanted to you to have some too. I hope they're still fresh when you read this letter. Huh. I hope there were some updates on their status, what they're doing now. Yeah, but she said she knew how to place commissions and all, so... Shoot. That's why it's here. Uh, I actually got a quest marked there while I was walking around. I don't really know what that is. Uh, no. Oh, what's the elevator? And I think there is something about those as well that I didn't get yet. Look, see here, but I swear, try to look near the cipher letters. I was looking around the map, but that, I think that will be it. Because there is a gift from fate. Yeah, then I think I can check that out. Just as I expected. Just looking for chests around and then there was something about a, a speaker. Ah, maybe that one. Uh, what's marked? Yeah. Uh, there are two. Celebration, this runs on me. Disable. Okay, Gaston is resting. This one, disable. Nitro key, perfect. Ah. Examine the tree. There are some down there. Separately, I just did. Uh, I have to use that. 
No. Mention. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was reading. Uh, ah, damn it. I drove all the way there again. There's the farthest place in the fortress. Forgetting I need stamina for stairs. This isn't Zelda. <laughs> you what do you want? We meet again, I made a bet with myself on whether it would be you who came. So, did you win or lose? Uh, what about it yourself? Uh, I won and I lost too. Uh, why would do that using a loudspeaker? Wouldn't you be in trouble if uh, Galvar yet caught you? Aren't you terrified of her? Terrified of her? Why would I be? It's just a bit annoying when she catches you. But she spends most of her time in the administrative area. She doesn't get involved with issues in the production zone unless there's good reason to. Uh, as for why I use loudspeakers for things like this, it's naturally it's because my it's which boring here. Uh, I think I get too hard now. Uh, when you know, he must be bored out of his mind, so he's always trying to find ways to entertain himself. In that sense, I'm just copying him. Uh, you've got a friend like him, right? Uh, one who's always full of crazy ideas, sometimes making a ridiculous mess of things. Naturally. Everyone doesn't get you at all. If you think it's boring here and have a friend like that, why don't you just leave Fortress of Mirror Pitch? Or are you actually guilty of? of some really serious crime. I can live anytime I want, I choose to stay of my own volition. It's much better in here than out there, nothing to worry about, life stable and no need to ponder complicated questions. I really envy the Lanor girl, if I were her I choose to never live here, I'd rather be ignorant of the world outside so I could have done this before. That's because I've already seen the world out the outside world, shouldn't judge others so casually. You're right there, I can make a judgment without having seen the evidence, but wouldn't it mean you won't see any friends if you stay here, unless they can come down as well? Good news, it's, that's not a problem for me, bad news, it's not a problem because all my friends are gone, it's just, I'm just not good with topics like this. When they were still around, life wasn't bad, even though our research field wasn't particularly hot, and getting funny approach was next to impossible. But then the accidents and misfortunes started piling up, Butter passed away due to illness, the central laboratory blew up, and Teohar perished in the blast. And the one who got fired, never mind, I won't mention him. 
Anyway, there was absolutely nothing I could do about any of it. But life in the fortress is simple and any problems can, that crop up are easy to deal with. Even if something major does happen, it's not like I'm the one that will have to deal with it. So I'm quite content with my life now. It's just that I like to have someone to reminisce um, with now and then. Understandable, I respect your decision. So it was nice chatting with you today, so thank you. Let me give you these coupons. You can think of it as a free round on me next time you are in the Ragnarok shop. Cheers, mister. And the little lady too. Smile and you may have a wonderful day. Okay, that was... That wasn't that long. I think I'm done with the fortress now. Uh, but I'm not sure. I'll check the map again later. Uh, now if I'm not mistaken, there is a cave there. Let's check it. I'm not sure this is a quest though. But there are other two caves that were marked as quests. The skies have cleared? What a pity. Oh, it's actually locked. Solidify. Mm. And what do I need to turn that on? There's no battery around here. Gather silence and shroud. So let the mighty be humble. No, nothing with you guys. Uh, I don't know, I'll check that later. Then. But uh, here, I'm pretty sure there's a quest here. Oh, if I got time, I'll check around for those crystals in the forge. It wasn't forge. I think it had another name. Down here. Oh, it has that. Okay, so I can just return without reporting. Solidify! Bow your head! I'll approve you! Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. Hmm. 
Okay, this may take a while. Oh, who knew there was such a huge space under the water? It's strange devices too. We could see from the globe. Uh, that one doesn't have a clue what the device is for, but it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. And nobody's been here either. Let's be careful. Treasure's light in depths. Okay. Experimental focusing mirror, a convergence prism with experimental crystal light path component style installed. Uh, if you initiate manual cal calibration at the point where the image is clearest, you can successfully complete the light convergence. Ah, okay. I don't know what's going on, but didn't break. <laughs> At least that's what my intuition says. <laughs> Stabilize. Something's missing. Solidify. <laughs> Can't see. Bow your head. Okay, now I. Oh, how? On the close, once I move it again. How do I do that? I could use another person. Not sure if uh, visiting Melusines players are beautiful can creatures. Activate they that. They are the pride of Fontaine. Be sure to befriend them and cause them no harm. Yet. 
silence. Oh. And shroud. Yeah. Sir. Um, but I didn't really need that. I could see after the first one. Anything, did we? The tides beckon. Everything. Silence. Yeah, that's not something we usually see. Next to the portrait is a memory in. Our now painter of the Court of Fontaine was commissioned to paint a portrait of Monsieur Bousset to commemorate the fantastic showing of Icewind Suit. Uh. Oh, Bousset Research Institute Project Result Summary 2. Title Innovative Circuit Design Using Clockwork Mecha to Simulate the Rock Paper Scissors Game and Its Sociological Impact. Authors Busset Sevin and Shisere. Introduction This paper explores the feasibility of applying the new art artifice core configuration to sociological game simulations and proposes a new circuit design scheme for specific gaming fields. Cross out, cross out. She said, don't forget to tear this page off. Do not allow this academic blemish to remain here. Okay, can you just get that? What did I read? There is usually some prom some glittering around. I think I can read. Solidify. One since Mr. Busser 
became the supervisor of the Busfield Research Institute, formerly known as Alain Guillotine Memorial Research Institute. His flawless decisions and wise leadership have led to remarkable results in multiple research areas. Out of respect and in gratitude to Monsieur Busfield, Note, I am absolutely not being mandated to do this by Monsieur Busfield himself. His highly original research results shall be collected here for future reference. General research history. Title, theoretical analysis and design of the novel artifice core configuration. Busfe and history. This paper introduced a new theoretical artifice core configuration laboratory the, on the operating principle and design requirements for the configuration and compares it to the traditional configuration, guillotine configuration. Calculations show that in an ideal situation, the configuration's optimal output is slightly higher than the traditional one. Marks this paper was selected as Fontaine Research Institute on the Energy Institute of Paper of the Year. And as a result, Monsieur Bousset has been awarded the title of Senior Technician. No uh, research on synchronous control application based on novel. Uh, uh, this paper explored the feasibility of applying the new artifice core with really synchronous control. Uh, if only my my there wasn't so obsessed with these weird dancing toys. That's the guy that's next to the uh Copele other guy. It's not right strange things in the remarks column. Ah, oh. oh, prototype dancer. Ah, oh. settle down. Hmm. One with the force. Be sanctified. That's like the domain I'm always going to. Hmm. I will have order. Gather and shroud. Yeah. <laughs> Let's nip that in the butt. Silence. Oh, I almost thought Mr. Ishing House had come back. What are all the shaking and fighting noises? Turns out it was actually someone accidentally triggering the device outside. Oh, no, well, there's prototypes. How they end up like this? Oops. Where was she? Where did she come from? From inside or she came from outside? Did we, did we just do something really bad? That's quite odd. I felt a vibration earlier. I felt it too. I felt it. Could it be just in your head? I don't know. Did you feel? Uh, it could be because you messed up the device on the upper level. The door here has been locked before, right? And there were even some clockwork mechanics especially guarding it. Uh, I gave the guards a break and then opened the door. Yes, yeah, so weird. Why is the door open now? Well, we didn't have a choice. They attacked us first, so it was legit with self defense. Well, we are technically trespassing, aren't we? When there's prototypes. They should be in standby mode. After all, even since he scored such a nice spotting Erinys, he hardly ever came back. But did he swim through there and all that? Another thing about it, who would want to come back to this damp dilapidated lab when you could show off your search to an adoring audience in a stunning place like the garden dance floor? After Mr. Busue left this post, and everyone was scattered throughout the institute, just like the materials here. Not even a couch was left behind. There should only be prototypes here, waiting for those who will never return. Normally they just be staying here on standby, stand and that's no big deal. But now, oh, it's just great. Take a look, they've been beating so bad that most of the clockwork machinery has fallen out. If Manadert found out, that was me sorry. Ever considered upgrading the strength of the prototypes? When they did do that, maybe the final products will meet your expectations. 
Sorry, is the prototype expensive? If we have to provide compensation, relax. I was going to say if Mother found out, he would definitely laugh that all out. After all, usually it was him interrupting the dancing of the prototypes, and after he was beaten to the ground, he'd sit there laughing. Uh, I've been talking so much yet I haven't introduced myself. I am a researcher at the Fontaine Research Institute. You call me Sevin. And you two are? I'm a Spymon, he's Ignus. We are just passing by with no other intentions whatsoever. <laughs> Treasures here. And we're just passing by. Yeah, we're just passing by and definitely didn't think we, there were any treasures in here. So, oh, I mean like ruined stores with treasure hunting sessions. You are in the wrong place for that. This may seem like a ruin, but, well, actually it is a ruin. So it's not on any list of recommended ruins for tourists yet. Fine, then we'll be leaving now. Wait, you've heard of the new Fontaine Research Institute, right? If you're leaving, can you do me a favor and go there and find Chisery? We're not going there. We still got on the treasure file. We're not going there. Then what am I going to do now? I still got work to do and while their prototypes are, were broken, I need someone to hold them back as soon as possible. Uh, maybe should help her out. Wonderful. Since you're willing to help me, I'll leave the recovery of the punch tapes to you. Mortal punch tapes. Uh, had I know, I never would have touched the, those devices outside. No problem, I got this. Don't say that. They're all, it's, all, it's just a piece of cake for you. This way, I can have the commission cost reimbursed as a research materials recovery expense. Really? You sure that's okay? As it is indeed helping our research work, it is completely just fine and legitimate, of course it's okay. If it's questionable, the request should be rejected by the administrative staff anyway. In which case, I'll just cover the commission costs out of my own pocket. Do you often do things like this? Now personally, I don't know about anyone else, but I've heard stories before. Never mind, it's not something outsiders would be interested in. There are three punch tapes to recover, or there should be only three of them on the shelves. shelf. This should be pretty easy to find, thanks for doing this, you two. Meanwhile, I have to check the prototypes again. Since it's been a long time since they were last searched, it won't be fun if they go haywire. Alright, we'll come back after we get the tapes. Bunch of tapes should be on the bookshelves inside. Look for them there. As for the other search materials, it should be okay to look right. Not like they're classified or anything. Oh, wrong here. No, not read. Is it? Investigate. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. One push tape. Another. I read that. Uh, oh, hello. We're going to turn that on, aren't we? Uh, so I filled the instrument here again. That was weird. If they were right here, why couldn't she get them? There are, these are the tapes we're supposed to cover, right? You should recover a bunch of tapes to Sevin. Yes, these are the ones. You guys are so efficient, not sloppy in the least. Something as easy as this, no way we're not finishing that in a jiffy. Uh, that's still commendable. I'm not exaggerating when I say some of my colleagues could squander a whole day just to find one simple thing. So let's not speak of that now, please bring the punch tapes back to Chisori. And tell her I won't be going back just yet. Oh, and let her know to get in touch with Mildart and let him know he should recover the prototypes here ASAP. Uh, okay, so you know, shall we go back the way we came? Oh, that won't be necessary. 
you too can dive, right? There is actually a waterway you can use. It was still to prevent accident fa accidental falls. I can open it back up. That would be great. Let's take the waterway. Terminal to open it is inside. You can do it alone. And you'll be fine getting out on here on your own, won't you? You won't get lost. Of course, don't underestimate us. But I'm the best guy in the vat. There's no way it's getting lost with five more rounds. Good, thanks for delivering the message and the punch tapes for me. Hope you don't mind if I don't show show you out. Hmm. Oh. This is designed to be actual route, but this should be safe. At least I never ran across anything dangerous the last few times I tried. I thought I was supposed to activate that. That's one less I'll need to look for later. And where is this? It's not a no shortcut at all. Uh, push tape super wet. Let's go. Okay. That is <laughs> not that one. I'm definitely going to get fired and start with all the accusing. Hello, about Miss Savine. It's Scrabble having to teach her and give her the three punch tapes. I was just mulling over whether to to go check up on her, so that's what happened. Thank you for the update and for the punch tapes too. Surprised that maybe their prototypes can still move, and that Savine is still working in such a dangerous environment. I'll talk to the administrative staff about arranging the recovery, uh, and see about the possibility of expensing it while I'm there. That was quite clever of her. It's. It's up to the administrative staff whether or not to reimburse it in the end, but I'll pay for the time being. Uh, anyway, thanks for your help. Here's your pay for job well done. No, oh, just that. Okay, just that. Uh, I think there is a quest there. Uh, sure, I think we. Faster. Ah, my apologies. This heavy rain must be quite an inconvenience for you. Just single moment. Water comes in many flavors to the discerning palate. Mondstadt's water is crisp and pure, while water from Liyue has an enduring aftertaste. In Inazuma, the water possesses a depth of flavor unlike any other. Sumeru's water, meanwhile, has a rich and complex flavor profile, but it must be savored patiently to fully appreciate it.
just one more moment. Just marking some stuff. I think there, there's a couple more things to do at the fortress afterwards. Okay, but, but let's let's check this one here first. Mm. Melusines are beautiful creatures. They are the pride of Fontaine. Be sure to befriend them and cause them no harm. Search the system wanted offering high salary. Those interested are invited to head to the workshop to discuss terms. That's the first time I enter in here. So I also have no idea what what you expect here. Hang on, can I get past you? Good for nothing wimp since when did it could tell me what to do but i mean we i feel here is so much useless good for nothing you ought to let me alone there's not enough time to read the rest so like two people are arguing what's going on i don't know we couldn't read it all Help me, please. No one's talking to me. Oh, I didn't notice you there. Uh, are you two here for a research system position? Sorry, but I'm a little busy at the moment. I can tell. Never mind that for now. Why are you locked up in a cage? I had some agreements with the research partner, Coltrot. He left me here to calm down a little. That's right, I haven't introduced myself yet. Uh, you can call me Kuso. Uh, you know, Kuso's clockwork workshop. That Kuso. I didn't pay attention. Uh, the name of the stars, but okay. Mm, Paimon is Paimon, and his ignorance. Paimon did hear the sound of arguing just now. So the guy who sounded really mad is actually your search partner, huh? Maybe it's time to change your partner. Anyway, we'll leave you to calm down for yourself. Uh, yeah, a good partner should be like Paimo. You know, super lucky to have a partner like Paimo. Could you please help me out of here? If you can find a way to activate the energy storage device beside me, then the door should open. Please, those who came here before the uh, before for the research position also could control it his violent temper, so they left as soon as they could. We're the only ones left here now. 
Well, seeing as that's the case, let's give him a hand then. Okay, how did you do that, guy? I see the value in my own work, but I also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of Fontaine. I believe I will continue to take pride in fulfilling my duties. And doors already open. Aren't you going to come out? Actually, there's one more thing I was too scared to mention. If we were to leave this cage now, I'm afraid this place could blow up. What? Blow up? That's right, like I said earlier, my research partner's got a violent temper, which is why he installed a trigger mechanism under the cage. Uh, what should we do now? Maybe we can try putting a heavy object in its place. There's no other way, we'll go seek help in the court of Fontaine. Uh, heavy objects. Ordinary heavy objects won't work, I'm afraid. The way it works is very complicated. Uh, if you could take my spot temporarily, kind Mr. Inus, and wait in the cage a bit, then I can go disable this special trigger mechanism. This sounds like a trap. After all, I've worked with him for years and I know exactly what he was thinking when he put it in place. I don't think I'm heavy enough. Maybe Pamela should also. Sounds a little suspicious. Please believe me. All I need to do is stay in my place for a moment and I'll be back for, from disabling the mechanism before I know it. Perhaps you've heard of the Fountain Research Institute, Mr. Raimondo and Bussue. I was mentored, was once mentored by them. These kinds of technical matters are not difficult and will not take long to handle. All I need is a quick moment. Well, alright then, but be quick. I didn't agree to that, Paimon. You very carefully, you saw places of Creo. Uh, why is the door shut again? Uh, maybe malfunction somewhere. I'll go check it out. This doesn't feel right. Don't worry, I'll fix that as soon as I can. The terminal to disable the trigger mechanism is in here. So I've got to leave momentarily. Hold on. Why that? The guy didn't rob me or anything. Why just lock me in here? Guess we have no choice but wait patiently. Wait for some time. Yeah, that felt like a trap. What could be taking him so long? Something didn't happen to him, right? But he said earlier that it was just him and his partner left here. And he got locked up again by the partner of his. I think you've been tricked. You're saying light to us. I used to wonder, can kindness really be labeled as good quality? Those few only kindness, what good does it even bring them? Uh, who's talking? There was never a trigger mechanism that could set off an explosion. The door of the cage is indeed locked now, however. Well, what will the two of you do? Keep waiting here or take action? Well, Paimo isn't trapped. What's that? going on about also his voice sounds like crystals but also like the one he was arguing with before what's going on let's find out a way to get me out of here first all right but you're locked inside this cage how are you supposed to unlock the door it's all on you paimon save me oh don't be so dramatic but luckily paimon did end up getting locked in the cage with you couldn't she pass through the bars if she tried I mean, I think he could pass through the bars if he tried. Uh, but we should be able to open the door the way we did before, right? Let's give it a try. I'll control Paimo. Let's see, there are two terminals and two energy storage devices here. If Paimo can activate the energy storage device beside the door, then the cage should be able to open. Where should Paimo go? To the how limited is Paimon thinking? Uh, check out the terminal by the door. This seems quite right. Is 
turn over the cage. How well, we can you see the door of the exit from? What should I do? To the energy store device by the door. That's it. Up. I should be able to see more from the other side. There. Oh, but can you activate you? You, need to, you can activate? You didn't get the other charge. And now, how the Pamun do? Pamun's not so useless after all, right? Anyways, what do I do with that Kuzo guy exactly? Pamun seriously doesn't get it. Let's go look around where he left. Maybe there's something we can find. Uh, I guess we'll go around and back here then. Mm, so I'm dipping here, but once we the path leads. Mm. Was that necessary? And then be too much space inside. Space doesn't like clockwork workshops. Oh, closing all valves, we activate the terminal and open the path. Okay. So we turn open the path. Another one. Right here, the first log should be our chopping, right? enough same thing It's mostly in case I skipped any. Stabilize. Bow your head. The tides beckon. It doesn't mean well. Just keep going, we'll be able to catch him for sure. Come on, let's keep looking ahead.
How far does this go? Hmm, what's that? This should be way through either. Up there, how to get up? Melusines are beautiful creatures. Push. Okay, ignore that. Wait. I got them. Where does it lead you? <laughs> Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession. No, it's a straightforward path. Surprise! Okay, more to kill. Order guide you. Workshop right away. Right. I don't know if I can workshop this one for mechas. Settle Be sanctified. <laughs> Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first, so it's legally yours now. Start going soon, yeah. Um, messy experimental report, experiment record, whatever. Attempted to implant the sample in the neural network, successfully completed insertion. Attempted to alter the sample's behavior patterns using many different methods, including authenticity and failure. Uh, consider retaining the sample as a defense mechanism for our facility and to make future research easier. Explore the records, uh, attempt to implant the sample in your world, verbal command attempts using natural language editing failure. So retaining the sample, okay. Uh, still unable to follow complex commands. Attempt to implant the sample, successfully implemented, success. Success, success, success. Silent. MCS, right? Swore you come out. Uh, okay, 
what do I do? Since you guys are fighting. September 4, so we press the window. the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? No, no move. Rotate. Okay. And now they will attack me. I don't know if there's been any change outside. Come on, the camera just showed to us. Why show to us I can have she saying she doesn't know. Oh guess fine, but so far. Now? No. Solidify! One with the force! Bow your head. The tides beckon. You gather. I will have order. Silence. Let the mighty be humble. Just leaves going away. I was getting confused. It's been a straight line so far. Okay, 
can face them at all. Get a red something. My purpose. Uh, hey, there are more people. What's going on? Mm, pretty so. There you are. In the one next to him must be the villain's research partner, Coltrot, that Kuso was talking about. He's Coltrot, not me. I'm Brickle. Huh? Isn't he Kuso? Kuso, he's just a convenient character. You've already passed many trials, so there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. My name is Coltrot, and I'm the real owner of this workshop. Uh, you two are truly great research material. If you're willing to help me with my research, well research tells a bit more about it. Hey, come on, are you really going to help someone this fishing? Nothing about this place looks like proper workshop. You also lied to us and made the clockwork mech attack us. Paimon has no reason to believe you're a good guy. That's exactly right, don't fall for his trap, he is an extremely vicious crook. I followed the clues here while investigating, I didn't expect you to continue. Your dangerous search even after you were kicked out. And you even stole the research institute assets for this purpose. You've committed a crime? You really can't keep your mouth shut, huh, Brico? You're just a good for nothing idiot. I'll take care of you once I've probably appraised our two VIPs over here. Your two VIPs? You don't mean us, right? Of course, you only need to pass one last try to prove your true worth. Time to show me what you've got. Okay, can I beat you up now? Good. Stabilize. Cue the spotlight and shroud. Settle down. You guys again. You are more skilled than I thought. You are truly the best ma research material I've ever seen. Far beyond what I can control, though. Enemy that lost. Just what is up with this guy? Yeah, it, that's a pretty common reaction to him. You see, his more peculiar research was exactly what got him kicked out from the Fountain Research Institute in the first place. My research was not peculiar. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you told the ethics committee back in the days as well. Don't think a single person bought what he said. So, what was his research? Uh, if you wish to learn more about his research, you may go to the New Fontaine Research Institute and to apply for access. I am an honorary senior researcher. Uh, that gives Paimon a headache just thinking about it. It's giving me a headache too. Even though he's been fired, the asset theft case I've been investigating still has to do with him. Uh, do you want to ship me off to the Fortress Merpid? Well, that's not up to me to decide. The law will hand you your proper judgment. It's a shame that, unlike last time, we simply we can't simply resolve matters by kicking you out. Either way, thank you both for your help. I probably wouldn't have been able to bring him down myself. You can leave the rest to me. I promise that this place will receive his proper punishment. I promise that this time and he will receive this, his proper punishment. I'm afraid I'll still have to return to this place to continue my work. There are so many assets, just how many reports would I have to compile? Oh. Oh, wait, I'm not Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. That's back to the entry. Yeah.
Can't really carry the one. But maybe the camera can aim at it. Um. No, that's too so far. I see the value in my own work. But I also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of Fontaine. I believe I will continue to take pride in fulfilling my duties. Great. Scribble uh, notes, failures combined the meaning of the research will only obstruct the road to the technological singularity. Not taking the project away from me, but taking the future from me. It cannot end like this. They are all dead now because that's how it ends for beings made of flesh and blood. Pain, weakness, all this must be thoroughly eradicated within this generation. But whatever means necessary. Uh, good, very good, most excellent. I figured it all out. The previous approach is completely feasible. It is just a, just that more experience are required. Self-reproduction. So the entire world has been incorporated, commands can be sent across a thousand miles and eastern throughout the network. No more low efficiency, efficiency just like that of the clockwork mecha. Absolute efficiency, integrating all resources in order to advance. Just like Irini said in the play, just like Lock Knight who reside, resist Remuria. They don't understand yet, but they will, they will. Script that follows is too sloppy to make out. Neatly written notes. The pipelines are having problems yet again. Spent the whole day checking but couldn't fix them. A real guy came over. He said he wanted to be an assistant. He looked way older than his voice sounded. I didn't want any trouble so I was just honest about it and told him if he wanted to be my assistant, he'd have to work for free. I barely have enough savings to pay for my own meals. No way I could afford I could fork out wages on top of that. But I said he didn't want payments, just a place to use. He knew that this isn't private property, just an abandoned building that failed to become part of the fortress. No idea how I found that out, but nothing I could do about it. It certainly has more than ample room for the two, for two weirdos who are into clockwork mecha. He always locks himself up when modifying mecha, probably because he's afraid of me stealing his techniques. But other than that, I say he is a wonderful partner. Not only did he fix the pipelines, he even installed regulator valves also. Haven't ever run short on energy storage device since the, he came. Guess he wasn't joking about having solid instant connections. We've ended up with a huge number of clockwork mecha without me even realizing it. I could see him, them roaming around when I woke up in the middle of the night. Don't think things are going particularly well for him. He talks to himself a lot and even screams at the mecha. They seem to be afraid of him, but can clockwork mecha even feel fear? I think his nerves are rubbing me off of me. I should get out of there. I'm here I'm for a bit in choice of fresh air. Even though I was here first, I ought to say goodbye to him before I leave. Um, but who was here with him then? Uh, 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 uh. That's a bit high still. <laughs> yeah, I would prefer some decent climbing. Ok, 
Okay, I guess you're done now. Oh no, not really done. There's that. But I don't see anything to use here. My PC had crashed and then it takes a little while to get back on tracks. So I lost. I didn't lost the stream, but I couldn't continue the same one. Well, uh, I don't know. search online later to to learn what I have to do there uh, I don't think there's much more I need to look um, let me see just where uh, ah, here where I marked Exactly a quest. But it certainly looks like uh, a bit suspicious area. the others and the water decks we had before quest oh I didn't do anything Rise me affect the dangerous creatures you do damage characters within it
Do I need to go there? Break more stuff. Oh, uh, healing, healing, healing. Yeah, those fish markers on the map are quite helpful now. Time zone. Ah, in the other side. Ah, oh, yes. Good. A really quest. Well, that was different. Oh, I didn't even notice that was that. Another tunnels. No, no, that's just that tunnel there. Okay, I can't unmark the one. I can't unmark the one, but I think there's two more quests there. I can unmark that. Um. Okay, I spotted a crystal there and a crystal here, but I haven't fully checked that. 
spiritual camp yet. The camp looks different. Stabilize. No more. They look like ah. Yeah. That kind of thing that would give me a chest. One with the force. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh. Why did you trap the dogs? I will have order. No, they'll probably attack me as well. Bow your head. Be sanctified. Settle down. <clears throat> Just like that? I thought there would be some mechanism. Just pretty guys. Bow your head. The tides beckon. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully, the excitement of opening oh. a treasure chest. Similar in our sport gear, it originally belongs to initial skill sample number two, but it seems to have been split. From the main body in a by mace external force. It has at least made it a worthwhile experience. Oh. Huh. Uh kind of look like we could grab that and use uh, very well next part of the game now let's take a look at this scatter references added to the archive why scatter references? And huh, that was a puzzle. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first. Something else. <laughs> Can't see. Uh, let's check everything around, and then we'll go to that. Step. Initial skill sample number two, development plan. Part uh, six, combat and engineering capability requirements. The base combat model discussed in this part is an integration of the 
underlying logic of the empirical devastation of the ancient fleet and combat, combat data provided by the adventurers. The algorithm has been improved by our project team and has been temporarily designated as the Comprehensive Combat Formula CCF. Within the CCF's data systems, this mecha must ultimately reach the following combat engineering targets. One, as the vanguard, create, create an opening in the front lines, withstand enemy attacks seven times those of standard units, and still advance the distance of 10 combat platoons. Two, while in cruising mode, detect and defeat all monsters on both sides of the road within a distance three times the range of a pistolet. Three, engage and hold off an enemy on the same level as the Emperor of Fire and Iron until reinforcements arrive. Four, when encountering an obstacle smaller than a standard three story Fontanian building, overcome it within half an hour and continue forward. Five, when attacking an enemy stronghold, remain unaffected by concentrated attacks from light weapons. Destroy enemy's defensive structures within two hours and drive the enemy out of their defensive positions. In order to achieve these targets, the mecha will be built in three batches of three, for a total of nine prototypes. The three batches are listed below. Full system prototype, verify the power, movement and combat systems. Uh, initial operational viabilities of the problems exposed by the prototype batch, making better testers group, tester group participation to optimize the mega structure based on main machine interaction and aesthetics. Full operational viability, one of the prototypes will be deployed with the testing group while two are retained by the project team. Mass production of this mecha can be achieved using developmental experience and test data from the nine prototypes. That's a mecha because it looks kind of makeshift. And that's the crystal I saw from above the mountain there before I come down here. Stabilize! Oh, I can't see anything. Optimization combat system interactions based on data from the first IOV prototype. Or is that a number? Uh, no, TO isn't a number. Uh, prototype with modified movement systems. The testers have made several suggestions to further optimize the mecha. One, change the number of crew from 3 to 4 in order to improve the mecha's operability. Currently, the three members of the crew respectively act as navigation controller, combat controller, and commander. This is sufficient to manage the movement, control, and combat. However, the tester point out that a single combat controller is incapable of managing the weapons on both mecha's arms. So, at least one system is required. Moreover, the additional main power may also reduce the burden of the maintenance on the crew. Uh, to replace the fixed weapons with modular interfaces. Weapons or large mechanical arms for grabbing things can be installed selectively before departure. Uh, the mech often encounters obstacles, the constant need for collisions against the chassis and a movement consistency to clear obstacles significantly reduces the mech's lifespan, or in greatly increases its rate of failure on the battlefield. Therefore, installing large mechanical arms is beneficial to clearing obstacles. Just a simple two-claw structure will be sufficient to pick up uh, trees that are difficult to push away via collision, benefiting the entire mecha team. Additionally, while on missions against creatures and groups of common wildlife, costly ranged weapons or melee weapons 
power with high energy consumption like the large impact drill will no longer be necessary. The large mechanical arm installed, the mecha can rely on its size and strength advantage to crush its targets and reduce operation, operating costs. 3. Install an internal cabin to accommodate combat personnel and Gardamax to provide protection and improve the endurance of said Gardamax. Uh, at present, there is ample storage space within the mecha and, and it is currently being used to store spare parts and supplies for the crew. And it features a crew launch and tea kettle. However, based on our test, even if the four-member crew system is adopted, servicing the mecha on the front lines by the crew alone is impossible, and support from a specialized engineer is required. Additionally, the allocated supplies are sufficient to last the crew for a year. Obviously, it's impossible that the mecha's crew will consume the full quantity of supplies in a single mission. Thus, modifying the internal space used to store spare parts and supplies into the into a crew cabin for com carrying combat personnel and garden mags into battle is entirely feasible. At the same time, the testers also suggest keeping the launch and especially the ticketos, saying that both will be vibe tomorrow. No 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 that Oh, that seems a bit fast. Okay, maybe we need all of them from around here. On the map. <laughs> Can't see. Settle down. I'll uproot you! And shroud! Silence! <laughs> okay, everything broken. One man's stone is another man's gem. Well, let me get the things around here before... Oh. Solidify. I have one there. Mm. Before trying to set things back on this weird marker. <laughs> ah, a symbol there. As always. Things are weird. Okay, but I suppose we could get that with Gather the Traveler's Rock. How many do I have? I'm not even sure. Six. Okay, there's just one more that I know where it is. Uh I didn't want it to hold that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, part 17. Uh, movement mechanism design iterations in short, based on the full system prototype tests, simply increasing the dimensions of existing human and clockwork mecha is not technologically feasible. This mecha is required to ideally be able to operate across various types of terrain, including hard city roads, dense woodlands, beaches, and even muddy swamps. If the bipedal locomotion of human and mecha is adopted, the mecha will be considered, considered a total loss upon entering environments with loose and soft soil. It will be impossible to recover if, if on things current 
transportation capabilities. This problem is due to the weight of the power system and the combat system far exceeding our expectations. Uh, currently, the, a power system capable of driving this mecha is still under development, so we can be so we have been forced to use multiple connected mass-produced clockwork mecha cores, and the power to weight ratio is quite low. But even if we even if it is replaced with an optimized power system, the mecha total weight will not decrease significantly. The combat system's weight is crucial in order to ensure combat capabilities meet. In order to ensure combo capabilities meet the prescribed goals, the armor, weapons, and ammunition cannot be reduced in either size or weight. Otherwise, we would only be weakening the mecha further. Thus, the multi wheel structure uh, or a crawler track movement mechanism being designed by another research group is a far more realistic design proposition than humanity lacks. If a track with considerable weight is utilized, the mecha will be able to traverse various adverse terrain while maintaining the highest combat efficiency. Furthermore, the tests run on the full system prototype validated a basic conjecture. Weight is a, the parameter of all main-made mecha equipment. When the right parts are utilized, weight is equal to combat power. As such, weight should be made a priority when designing any mecha. The results derived from this theory will be presented by our project team at the conference. Uh. Huh. Oh, I kind of don't want to kill you now. Can't see. Oh, that would have been better. All right. Oh, uh, fire. Do I just burn it? Okay, let's change the scenery for Clee. She likes when things here. go boom. How far is safe? Was it dangerous to stay there? Document feature. Um, but what was really the point of that? Did that have anything to do with the way it was supposed to work or anything? More treasure, more treasure! <laughs> okay, I'm not complaining. I just don't find the. Logic between uh, who ate a poison? Oh, I thought it would be stabilize shockwave. No, piece of cake. Oh, I think that's it around here. I can turn back off. Uh, let me take a quick look at the map. Mm. I killed the dogs. I shot the targets. I messed with that thing. That. I broke the phases. I got the secret chest. And the thing. Okay, uh, now last one is. Oh, let me mark that. And let's go here. Uh, but I'm still not sure I'll be able to use 
them because it was just a single big mass of rock. Not those seven indi individual rocks that I had used there. Maybe it'll be part of a quest that I don't have. Uh, is there an easy way to climb that? Come here to grab that actually. Ah, okay. Emerge into that. Uh, now it was through here. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I'll break things down there. Mm. Mm, they will spawn. No, 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 no. Come on. No. Surprise. <laughs> okay, I guess I moved close the vaults already. So now, well, from Archeon. Oh, now I that's that. Uh, gameplay tutorial. Uh, when press. When the pressing process is activated, the press will cause the stock to enter an active, activated state. You need to activate the press when the stock gives off an orange red light. Okay. What if I don't? Seems Linny is saying some strange things again. It's really worrying. No, it just goes back. Okay. Totally safe. There should at least be a radiation shield in front of me. Stop. No way. Continue. Decrease heat dissipation. In temperature. What? <laughs> That's not a window. Uh, how do I? Troubleshooting. Oh. Decrease the heat dissipation window temperature. Decrease the 
cooling system. Is that the cooling system? Cooling process. In this one, ah, I need water. How do I bring water? Um. Disabled. It's running. It's only water it takes blocked. But how do I open that? Ah, there's a lot there. Ah, I didn't see that before, I guess. Gather. Oh. Okay. I think that was it. Now, you were supposed to... Okay, let's do the problems as they come up. It's cool now. Yeah. I see the value in my own world, but I also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of Fontaine. I believe I will continue to take pride in fulfilling my duties. Ah, everybody just died. Ah, Samur could swim, but the other dogs can't. Ah. Hang on, is there a... Shellfish. Maybe a crab or shellfish. Ah, shellfish. The book's too readable. Okay, I read this the other time. Uh, no. There. Just true. Just prevent it from going again.
great. I'm not sure what's the point. I think I broke something. Archeon Luminite. Resort of Forging Archeon emits unusual energy and light. They say that such thing can be used to open a gate somewhere. From the fortress. Oh. Uh. Where? Was somebody supposed to send me here to do that? And I skipped at least part of the quest. Oh, one of those. There's a gate here. Hey, do you know what I did? No, I don't. Coming for the right tree. I don't think this was here. I don't remember. No, I just talked to the guy. When will I be able to Maybe we start working in the game. Are you working here? You don't care about it, did you? How to drink coffee? Okay, what what do I do with that thing? Um, well, I got that. No. Okay, I may have a quest on the fortress, but I don't think that will be it. Ah, oh, hang on, I remember something here. I left a chest here. Because it looks sus way too suspicious that could start a quest or have something <laughs> interesting when I open it. <laughs> Or I could just open the chest and be nothing that unusual beside it. But that sure looks weird. Stabilize! Settle down! What's inside? Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items Nothing? into your possession. Okay. The other one I found was in... Uh, on the path to the Narcissan Cross. And that was the purple goo inside. Well, let's just take a quick look at the fortress. I suppose... What? <laughs>
there are a couple of quests here. I hope. Quick quests. Yeah, what is this guy? Concorde. Let's just see you ha seeing how seriously formal a mill hat uh, are taking their performance. I couldn't help but get complacent with my training. I feel like my joints have stiffened up. So how about acting out a scene with me? Of course, I'm referring to acting on the stage of the Pancration Ring. Okay. Sure thing. Uh, you certainly are com very accommodating. Okay, I thought we would hit that or something. Silence! Let the mighty be humble! I guess I'm supporting actor this time, but it's fine. My trains are feeling more limber again. Uh, ah. It's thanks to you. Thanks for keeping me company. Good. You sent me here. It's usually a pain to get in here. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it. Okay, this one's part of the quest, so I don't suppose you would do anything. Is there anything down here? Putting board. Bridge is good for my exercise. Just that. Challenge him. You're staying out too much for me to not to invite you. Spare me, I'll show you how hard me and my fists are. We've defeated you already. Oh no. Come on. The guys I trained defeated you. Of course I can win. I can wait. Uh, so, what are you waiting for? Settle down! I hear everything. Silence. Okay, but it's not fair. <laughs> Choose them. I'm just don't want to waste more time here. I lost, but my spirit remains undoubted. Regardless, you are worthy of bondage. Uh, and another one. Abandoned property belongs to whoever. Okay, now I think will be the last thing on the fortress. Uh, but I'm afraid this may take a while. Uh, I'm not sure if it's here or down there. Ah, a trick of one's rooms, basically prepare a great dharma visions and other moon will soon be king, there are cares, no perform search for more war hardly endorse the contest on Mortimer, don't watch it, regret, bringing items on related production into production zones for me, no, come on, be it again, I'm about the trick of one's rope. Is incredible organization dedicated to enriching lives through theater, or at least I like to be able to say that. At the moment, you are more amateur hobbies or support group, or oh, if only we had more of budget. For more, Milhat have been doing other work lately, and it does seem the two of them alone can already put a decent performance. Looks like you're out. Oh, I'm injured. Hey, didn't you say you'd tell me some amazing stories when you got the chance? What do you, do you think? Any? 
unforgettable experience, ordinary experience, okay. unforgettable experience. I thought we'd choose something about each of the uh, countries I've been to. That's awesome, but it'd be a waste for me to turn into a script. We can only put on cheap little skits here. The story that deserves to be performance stage of the upper epochs. But were there opportunities to tell such a great story under those shining light? Well, it's not like I get a chance to write the script now, would I? Okay, so let me tell you. Uh, ordinary experience. Uh, that's a good story, but to make it work on stage, I think the story will be almost unrecognizable. Unrecon Personally, I like that kind of story. Ordinary events can tell us a lot about the person's character. Some might disagree, of course, but that doesn't matter. Perhaps the most important thing is that audiences expect conflicts and twists. Unfortunately, this probably does not meet those expectations. Such a shame. Uh, what your outfit? Uh, looks real enough, right? But look, quality is much worse than an actual uniform. Uh, if it wasn't for the tragically tight budget that the tri coupon trope has, I would have a proper custom, a genuine top quality guard's uniform. About the fourth? Oh, you heard the moniker. Did Lanora tell you? She's the only person here who calls me that. That was my stage name when I fought in, I fought in the Pancration Ring, Concord the Fourth. But everyone complained it was too long, so they just called me Concord. Well, Lanora just calls me the Fourth, even when I'm not in the arena. Perhaps I'm some kind of storybook character for her. That actually suits me just fine. I was pretty sure there be a, should be a quest here. Ah. Okay, that's way too hidden. Okay, so the last line here is, but I never expected to see mudly reflected in the eyes of my nemesis, a sad, lonely face, gradually made desolate by visions. No, it's so strange to suddenly feel remorse for the acts of vengeance already committed. I, and given how brutal the revenge was against the accomplices, it doesn't make sense to show mercy to the main culprit. Actually, it was all foreshadowed. See, after every act of retribution, her determination began to waver little by little, due to the atrocity she had committed and witnessed. I mean, we don't want to encourage dedicating your whole life to revenge, after all. Nope, I just don't think the end is convincing, at least to me. You're going to catch flack if the script stays as is. Don't judge based on your own tastes. This again, well, I think you're actually the one tailoring it to your personal ta tastes. You shouldn't always be preaching to the audience. Alright, we do have an audience here now, don't we? What is your name, blonde friend? Call me Inus. Hello, you've been watching, so you must have an interest in theater. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Melhart, and this here is Formo. Uh, how do you do? We are the world renowned. Uh, aren't you going to follow that up with the three coupon troop? Fine, fine. As you can see, we are the world. World renowned three coupon trope. Uh, we're not actually world renowned in the least, and the regular cast consists of just the two of us. And you shouldn't have promoted us like that from the start. Also, I never agreed to you hyping me up as the renowned performance artist over the loudspeaker either. It's just an advertising tech, and I believe that you, Monster from more. Promo will one day be a famous performance artist. Oh, stop it. I'm just trying this out for fun. Monsieur Formo is very talented. Someday he may even grace the great stage of the opera epithets. Thanks for the compliment. I. Wait a second. I've already been there. I'm here because that's where I was sentenced. 
uh, that's true, I guess. Anyway, Inus were rehearsing a play called The Contest of Montemer. Okay, uh, I didn't pay attention before, but okay. Uh, but we we'll like to hear an outside opinion regarding the ending. I know nothing about theater. I got nothing but opinions. Uh, there you have it. Usually those who are too willing to give out their opinion aren't quite normal. But it's alright. We're ready. We need opinions right now. Any opinions will do. How about it, Formal? Let's put on a little performance for you. Uh, then let's start from... Some say that for all evils there are two remedies. Time and silence. So, uh, time and silence. The story opens in a lane of exiles called Montemer. A woman named Juliet has lost her fiancé to a brutal murder, and she herself has been framed and banished. But the fire of vengeance burns intensely in her bosom, refusing to surrender to either time or silence. There will come a day when she finally escapes and exacts payback on all who were responsible. As Chains would have it, not only does she escape Montemer, but she unearths its hidden treasure. One after another, she takes her revenge on those who wronged her. But what she lost in the euphoria of revenge was her own compassion. As she faced her nemesis of days past, does she even realize this? Or perhaps that is why at the last moment her sharp blade went wide of the mark? Juliet, what does have to be you, Juliet? Yes, it's me. You didn't see it coming, did you? Uh, when you killed my fiancé with your own hand and banished me to Montemer. Why, you, you shit devil. I remember now, I remember. In course, two weeks ago, you said, the pound of flesh from, this, from his chest is the principal, and blood and surplus flesh are the interest. Thank you, Anthony. He collapsed there in the middle of the course, pale as a death coming for him. All the crown could not but helplessly stare at his heart stopped beating. Hmm. He who perjured himself so many years ago finally paid the price I demanded of him. And with interest had him he had only himself to blame for such an end. And the lead actor wrought helplessly crushed by a falling light in the theater. Were it not for his clip, sympathizing tongue, my lover and I would have fallen into your trap. Will never have fallen into your trap. So, so you got close to me just to ring my clock to fire a hidden dagger, taking my life at midnight. Exactly. Juliet, please forgive me. You saw how Anthony's wife hanged herself after he died, leaving behind only a few sobs of their young son. It is really what I want to see. Think about Rhodes. Uh, the sight of his haggard, snow haired mother trying to gather his broken, scattered remains, waiting in agony and sorrow. I know my sins are many in grave, but you should know why we killed your fancy. It's because he killed our friends. I don't believe you. You're lying. You must be. It is your choice whether or not to believe, to believe it or not. Uh, ah, Julia, just what kind of jet pillar of fate have those chains of sin bound us both so tightly to? Invasions will you free you, plunge the knife in your hand into my chest. But I can promise you, revenge will not put you at ease, but fill your heart with an agonizing void. Look at my own beautiful state, I know what lies down the road, the road better than any. How could this be? Is this perpetually drunk and tortured man a part of what is to come? I thought I would be free after exacting revenge. But I never expected to see, mudly reflected in the eyes of my nemesis, a sad lonely face gradually made desolate by, by visions. So why choose the ending? Okay, you know this is it. This is the part I feel we need to discuss. There are two directions we can go with the plot. One is for Julia to abort her revenge and spend the rest of her treasure traveling the world and enjoying life. 
No, if it was a whole story about revenge, she can just have a happy ending. Uh, and the other is for her to complete her vengeance. Only to realize she still feels empty inside, so she donates all her wealth to charities, then grows old and dies alone in a place where she first met her fiancé. That's much better eh, for a story. So, as the audience, which do you prefer? Of course, you got to complete your revenge first. Your yeah, revenge comes as kind of freedom. Uh, huh. See, see, it does I think like. Jerome is uh, is lichpin of the whole revenge story. He doesn't feel this thing of visions. You feel like a complete letdown. Mm. Making the character just imagine the pain and emptiness is also different from the character actually experiencing the same after doing the deed. That is true. Thank you, Inus. Your feedback has been most valuable. Yes, indeed. After such a discussion, I feel like the conclusion does have some room for improvement. If it can be properly presented, you must come when the play officially premieres. You know, and there will be an ending that will exceed your what is imagination. Exceed my what is imagination in a good way, or yeah. Okay. Well, it's still to be finalized, so I don't know either. Then why would you tell me that? Just call your promotion. Oh, and thank you for feedback. Please take this. Feel free to drop by anytime. Now there's a bit of wooden too. Maybe for writing should better reflect the character's inner psychology and mentality. The audience should be able to understand this part of the plot. Uh, please refrain for a moment. There are, there are you are you going to obfuscate ob the dialogue to the point? That the audience is left guessing again. Do you recall the last performance? Nobody understood any of it. All they could say was didn't understand much but seemed very avant-garde. And we were trying to write a situational comedy. But of course it won't be like last time. Don't be unreasonable for a moment. You need to consider the audience's perspective when you try to decide how to communicate the meaning of the play. I recall in a device that if we want the audience should give us clear feedback. We need to express ourselves fully first. The rehearsal went well, didn't it? But uh, you're right. Okay, okay, I'll do another edit. Be quick about it. We have a rehearsal this evening. As you wish, Miss Malhart. Okay. Guess now we're done with the fortress. Okay, uh, if there is any new event or anything going on, I'll try to start the Vlad's chapter next time I play. Uh, okay, this is any quest or anything. Beautiful creatures. Let's they just are the try to roll for a wrestling. No. The fountain. Be okay, uh, let me check the... to be friendly. Some of the things. Uh, this client story. Oh, the light toward it. It ultimately leads. What lies in the rainbow? What, what, what light did I follow? Uh, come on, on Mr. R. Green, my wish. There are also seven mysterious yellow green ores. Create the time zone of the thorny cyst and purified waters. Why time zone? While mother is asleep, discovered secret hidden station. Okay. A commanded feature to the hidden property of the machine repairing the initial. Okay. Red minis revenge. Remove all the red minis and the mini minis from the Bravice Press works. Okay, now I need to figure out where to use that. I see the value in my wrong own work, but I also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people. Uh, also, no, even if I use, I may keep it with me. 
record updated. Everyone, Paimon's app. Huh? If we, if we can, that so they'll be that the font. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm out.